Hey there guys. Today I'm out in my Autopilot 120. I've had this kayak for about a year and shortly after buying it I stumbled across a video on YouTube of an angler that had changed out his prop on his Autopilot 120 and gained somewhere around a half to three quarters of a mile per hour speed. Now the top speed I get on my Autopilot is usually somewhere between 3.8 and 4.1. What he was using was actually just a small airplane prop. He's only $4. Um, I'll put a link to this uh, product below and I'll put a link to his video as well. So here's the the standard issue prop. Here's the airplane prop. You can see it's a lot thinner blade. It's got a much smaller profile. It doesn't have this big hub in the middle. So I'm going to do two things. One is I'm going to test and see does this actually increase the top speed of the autopilot 120 that i'm in by changing out to this prop and two is if it does do that i'm going to use my bluetooth to my bluetooth battery to look at amp draw at the different speed settings and speeds relative to the original prop and see does having this actually increase your range of your kayak because if this increases the range of the kayak and makes it more efficient then that definitely makes it a worthwhile investment. It's a $4 investment at that. Now you do have to modify it when you get it because it's just a touch too long. So you have to kind of round off the tips so that it's the same length as your original. First, let's establish a baseline top speed with the original prop. Then we're gonna switch this out, see what the new top speed is. If it is higher, then we're gonna look at the relative speeds of this prop across the different speed settings versus this prop and see how that might affect the overall efficiency and range of this kayak on a single charge. So let's get started. Okay, so I don't have anything in the water, nothing trolling or anything. I'm gonna push it up to the top speed and just see what the speed in miles per hour is in my speed over ground. And as expected, it's four miles per hour every once in a while tipping up to 4.1 all right it's going to bring the prop up sounds like i need to lubricate that thing a little bit right, we're going to do the change here on the water shouldn't be too difficult so the hardware you need to make this upgrade according to the video is two three eighths inch stainless steel flat washers a three eighths inch lock washer and then a, the prop Okay, and I can tell I rounded off the tips a little bit there to make it the right length. So anytime you're taking stuff off out here on the water, just uh, be careful. I need to loosen this up just a touch. There we go. So I'm going to take off this plastic piece here that holds the blade on. There's a little lock washer there that you want to not lose and a pin inside here that you also don't want to lose now I've got that done I'm going to line up this with that pin on there so that it locks into place there we go I'm going to take a 3 8 inch lock washer the two 3 8 inch flat washers, then the original lock washer, and then the black nut that's going to hold that in place. Tighten this down. Okay, turn this so I can deploy it. Alright, let's put her back down and see if this really does make a difference. Let's see what happens here. I'm gonna ease into it. So I'm gonna kick start the motor here. Okay, here we go, the moment of truth. Okay, so I'm at a speed setting of five. I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up to 10. See what happens. Holy smokes, I gained 
I did gain not nearly as much as he did in his video. But I've gained about 0.3 miles per hour. So just a little bit more speed. It's not, not quite as extreme as I saw in his video. He had a little more chop than I did, but it is an increase in speed. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at speed performance um, using my Bluetooth app to look at what kind of draw is being done on the battery at the different uh, speed settings to see if that's changed at all. I don't think it should, but I also wanna see that relative to the speed. And then I'm gonna compare that to the original prop and see how just changing out to this $4 airplane prop would change your potential range on a single charge. So let's get started with that. We're gonna start with, we'll just do speed setting one through 10. I won't do the halves just for efficiency. Okay, so at speed setting one, I am going 0.6 miles per hour and drawing one amp. At speed setting two, I am going 1.2 miles per hour and drawing two amps. At speed setting three, I am going 1.8 miles per hour and drawing four amps. At speed setting four, I'm going 2.3 miles per hour and drawing six amps. Okay, at speed setting five, I am going 2.9 miles per hour and drawing 9 amps. Speed setting 6, I'm going 3.2 miles per hour and drawing 12 and a half amps. At speed setting 7, I'm going 3.6 miles per hour and drawing 17 amps. At speed setting 8, I am going 3.8 miles per hour and drawing 22 amps. At speed setting 9, I'm going 4 miles per hour so it's basically one full speed setting below I've gained. Basically, I've gained an additional speed setting. I'm going four miles per hour and drawing 27 amps. At speed setting 10, I'm going 4.3 miles per hour and drawing 34 amps. So I'm going to crunch all those numbers and show you guys uh, how changing out this prop would change your effective range. Okay, one of the first things I wanted to look at was whether or not changing out the prop impacts the amount of power being drawn off the battery, the different speed settings. And what you can see here is that they're virtually the same. You might see a little bit of differences there. That's probably rounding errors on my part. Um, but yes, they're exactly the same. So different speed settings, uh, doesn't matter what prop you have on there, you're still gonna have the same amount of draw. Okay, in this graph, what you see on the left side is your speed, and on the bottom is the different speed settings from 0 to 10. The main takeaway here is that the airplane prop uh, actually increases your overall speed at every speed setting. However, this is not a perfectly linear relationship in that there's not the same percentage gain. It depends on the different settings. At the lower end of your speeds and at the upper end of your speeds, there's actually less of a difference between these two props. But in those mid speeds between speed setting three and speed setting seven, which is where most people are going to be spending their time, uh, there's actually a more than 10% advantage using the airplane prop, which means your overall range is going to increase up to 10% or more. So for instance, in a previous video, I looked at on a 100 amp hour lithium battery, which you can draw down to about 95% before the voltage drops below 12. Uh, I estimated you can maximally get about 27 miles out of it if you just ran your uh, trolling motor at speed setting 5 the whole time. With an airplane prop you could get up to 30 miles. So that's a more than 10% increase. So there's a lot of potential here to increase your range by uh, a few to several miles depending on which speed setting you're on. So one thing that just did happen that has never happened with my factory issued prop is that the prop has jammed itself and I tried to bring the motor up. I can reach down there and turn it, but 
again, that's just something I've encountered. This is the first time I've been lit. I've lifted the motor with this prop in place. So the scientist in me is really curious as to why. Why does this produce more thrust than this? It could be the pitch, and I'm not an engineer, and I have done some reading on pitch of blades. It's a very complicated science. Um, in general, you know, the more aggressive the pitch is, the more thrust you're going to get. So I would not say, like, this one has extreme pitch compared to this one. In fact, this one, to me, seems to have more pitch. I think, I'm my hypothesis, and maybe somebody will just laugh, um, if somebody's an engineer can explain this to me, my hypothesis is, is that this doesn't have a hub. And because it doesn't have a hub, it has a longer prop length, and that's where the increased thrust is coming from. Whereas this has a big hub, these are actually much shorter blades, prop blades relative to the airplane prop. I think that's going to come at a cost, right? Like, if you run into something, you hit a log or a rock or something, this thing's going to shatter. Or is this is less likely to, because it's a wider blade, it's more durable, it has the hub to help absorb that shock of impact, whereas this is much thinner, and I think it would just break. I'm mostly an open water troller, so I don't think it really matters to me that much. I don't run into things but something to consider if you're going to make this upgrade. Another thing to consider is I'm pretty sure this probably invalidates some of the warranty on my motor, although I'm not certain on that. Um, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure how engineered these motors are to specific prop sizes. Uh, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Um, I would be curious to know. I know that you can change out props on boat motors, quite readily, so I'm not sure why it would be such a big impact here with this one. Well, I hope you found today's video properly interesting. I'm really curious to hear what your thoughts are on why you think uh, I'm getting more speed out of that prop. Do you have a different idea that uh, I'm not thinking of? I'd love to hear your thoughts and put them in the comments below. Are you going to change out your prop on your autopilot? Uh, let me know what you think. I'm going to try running this for a while and just see how it works out for me. If it's more efficient, then I see no reason not to. And that little bit of extra speed, while it's not a ton, I think every little bit counts. Alright guys, I will put links to everything I use below the RC prop and descriptions for the different hardware. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time out on the water. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye, guys.